What's going on y'all? David here at Glory Hills Homestead. So today um, I'm excited because I get to learn something new. So I'm taking these logs right here, the big trunks of trees, um, to my good friend. He's also the brother of the pastor. His name is uh, David Yoder. I'm taking them over to his house and we're going to mill them into lumber. Um, I want to build Holly a milk stanchion that's inside of our shop. Uh, because man, I feel so bad whenever she has to milk out in the cold. Um, so, you know what? Um, I'd rather have it in the shop and be in a place where she can have a heater um, during the winter months. But yeah, so I went ahead and cut these. Um, I'm over here on the 80 acres, clearing out some of this brush. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm so excited. So again, I get to learn something new. That's the biggest thing that I, I really like about it.
so as you saw we got to bring all that wood back home which was a giant blessing uh, yeah that is cool yeah we ended up getting a whole bunch of wood out of it a cool a lot of cool cuts uh, some stuff we can't necessarily use on the stanchion but uh, it's still going to be cool to use it in different parts where lots farm, of things we could like make cool signs out of and stuff too kind of the sure. end pieces so what we're doing now is we're going on our way to sealing oklahoma it's out west of oklahoma we're gonna go pick up a pig so and that way uh ham has a partner yeah a buddy to cuddle up with at night when so, it gets cold yeah so he has a heat lamp um but there's always the chance in oklahoma during ice storms or even heavy snowstorms for you to lose electricity for a few days give or take um and if that happens and the heat lamp goes out um you don't want animals to be just by themselves so they need body heat Plus, so, pigs are very emotional animals. So they are. They need a lot of like um, mental stimulation. They need a companion. Yeah, they do. And Otherwise, so, they'll get sad. Yeah. <laughs> and so Ham has been by himself for like three days now since there's been no other pigs on the other side of his fence. And I've gone in there every day and loved on him. And two days. Two days and given him belly rubs and all that. But anyway, we want him to have a friend. And so uh, we're just getting another little boar. This will be a full-blooded Hampshire from some... Uh, breeders and we'll probably use him for meat next year the one we're getting today um, we plan on keeping him for a while for breeding uh, but this way it'll just be two little boys we'll get him um, castrated and then he'll just have a buddy so that's his purpose is to be a companion for him and then meet for us in the springtime so so another thing we've learned throughout our couple years of breeding pigs is you want to try to get as full-blooded as possible yeah. from a reputable breeder. Mm -hmm. uh, as you saw with the Mangalisas, and, uh, Slash Hampshire. Um, you will be throwing away your money if you don't yeah. because they're not going to get as big. Um, they're going to act small, crazy. And they might be crazy. And the reason being is some breeders, what they'll do is they'll inbreed. Yeah. So they'll use like a sister and a brother and breed them together. And you generally really don't what ends do up that. happening with that is you get the worst traits of the mom and the dad. Mm -hmm. And then eventually they'll become mean. Yeah. So that's why like whenever you see these uh, Texas hunts, you know, they go up to kill the pig and it chases them. Well, that's why it's probably an inbred pig. So we just kind of want clean, fresh genetics every go around. And that's our plan. So, yeah, we won't be using the one we're getting today for breeding at all. But it's nice to know that he's coming from a full-blooded um, Sure. Yeah, full-blooded Hampshire, and it's a really good, uh, reputable breeder. So we're not going to be stuck with anything crazy and wild and, you know, what we got last time. <laughs> so, exactly. yeah, we're excited. He uh, has some cute patterns on him, so we'll show you when we get him. What do you guys think? Oh, he's got a little spot on his nose. So cute. Hey buddy. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's getting messy. He is messy. He's so cute, right, Dachi? Yeah. So this sweet little boy was completely quiet the whole ride home, which is crazy if you've ever transported a hog. And he's so cute. Super cute. He has a spot on his nose, which I didn't know, which I hate cute characteristics on meat animals, but it is what it is. I'm glad he's sweet, though. You can tell he's been handled because he lets me catch on him. <laughs> They're really cute, aren't they? What good friends. Wow, yeah, he's bigger than him. Hi, honey. Did you get a friend? What a cute boy. Ham's really happy, babe. <laughs> I know. I know. Mm -hmm. 
Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions about what we did on this video, feel free to comment below. It really helps her algorithm out. But yep. um, share it with a friend. But also remember, you guys are loved. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.